Hi Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Your love and support have enabled us to bring another wealth of everyday psychology, so let's explore. What comes to mind when you hear psychopath? It is used to describe anyone ranging from serial killers to problematic exes. In reality, however, psychopaths make up only 1% of the general population, as found in a study by Freeman in 2011. So, what basically is the definition of psychopathy? According to a study, psychopathy is not an official diagnosis, but refers to a combination of behavioral traits including antisocial behavior, callousness, and low levels of empathy and interpersonal emotions. Before we begin, here's a reminder as to this video being intended for educational purposes only. We urge you not to use it as a diagnosis or treatment for any conditions. If you feel you or anyone you know can relate to these signs mentioned, be sure to seek professional help. With that said, here are 8 signs you're dealing with a psychopath. 1. They lack empathy. According to research at Duke University, cognitive deficits prevent psychopaths from experiencing automatic empathy, the ability to interpret other people's perspectives subconsciously, even when there is no personal need to do so. However, psychopaths still experience controlled empathy, the ability to understand how someone is feeling by consciously considering that person's actions and reactions and reasoning through their thoughts and feelings. If someone never reacts to others' tears, joy, or fear unless it directly affects their goals, they might harbor psychopathic tendencies. 2. They don't feel guilty. Lack of remorse is one of the telltale signs of psychopathy. Due to their decreased automatic empathy, psychopaths don't process care-based transgressions, where one person harms another as morally wrong. This lack of guilt often correlates to violent, illegal, or unethical behavior. As described in a study, a psychopath might be someone who embezzled clients' hard-earned savings without remorse. On average, are three times more likely to re-offend than people who are not psychopathic. 3. They are charismatic. Psychopaths often mimic others' behaviors in order to get what they want, sometimes adopting completely different personalities. This process is called reverse learning because instead of reacting to external stimuli, psychopaths learn how to act based on people's reactions to their behavior. So, if you catch someone acting instead of reacting, it could be a sign of a psychopath. 4. They are fake or manipulative. Another sign you're dealing with a psychopath is if they suddenly undergo shifts in personality and behavior, turning from charming and outgoing to threatening or violent, for example. This is known as extinction, and a study by Blair in 2018 explains that it happens when people are no longer rewarding one of the psychopath's behaviors. They will then try a different tactic to try and manipulate you into giving them what they want. 5. They lie constantly. Psychopaths use lies to get what they want. Since they don't naturally experience empathy or guilt, people on the psychopathic spectrum are more likely to view lying as a tool than a moral exception. Additionally, research suggests that psychopaths are better able to detect lies, although this trait appears in psychopathic men more than women. 6. They are irresponsible. Psychopathy is synonymous with irresponsibility. Their cognitive deficits in empathy mean that psychopaths are almost always centered around their personal goals and will sometimes do whatever it takes to achieve them, including breaking their promises. Coupled with their lack of guilt and moral responsibility to others, it is unsurprising that psychopaths are not the most reliable. 7. They blame you for their mistakes. Although psychopaths lack remorse, when confronted with things they've done wrong, they may blame you. Why? because they probably won't take the time to think through how placing the blame on you will make you feel the same way they do at the moment. Instead, they use you as a scapegoat in an attempt to relieve the discomfort and anger they are experiencing. 8. They are impulsive. Another giveaway that someone may be a psychopath is impulsivity or high levels of risk-taking. Do they repeatedly break laws for fun or because they don't feel compelled to uphold society's moral standards? Are they frequently engaged in reckless driving or drug use without fear? These are examples of behaviors that could be due to psychopathy. Because impulsivity is also a sign of other personality disorders, bipolar disorder, or ADHD, it's important to consider this sign's presence alongside other signs on this list. Hence, it requires a detailed professional analysis. 
Looking at these signs, it's understandable how people who rank highly on the psychopathic spectrum could pose an increased risk to society. But it's also important to keep in mind that psychopathy is a spectrum, and like other mental disorders, highly stigmatized and misused in the media. We hope we were able to give you insight into how you know when you might be dealing with a psychopath. Have you ever seen or experienced these signs in your daily life? Do any of these describe your experience? Know of any signs we missed? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video interesting, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there who might be dealing with the psychopath. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more new videos. Thanks for watching. Keep checking this place for more.